advance to the topic of interest via the menu in the description below. The Stratocone ensures stable flights and gravitational chute deployment. Stratocone fits 1 liter, 1 and a quarter, 1 and a half, and 2 liter soda bottles. Stratocone is compatible with most commercial and homemade launchers. Stratocone works with single bottle, spliced, or FTC water rocket. Stratocone has enough space inside for the rocket chute and a paratrooper. Quickly transfer the Stratocone system from one rocket to another without tools. Water Rocket Kit is a complete rocket and recovery system. Water Rocket Kit includes nose cone, chute, cord lock, washer, bracket, bumper, 4 and 6 inch zip ties, fins, nozzle, tether line, and bead. Screw strato fins onto a soda bottle. Lay out parachute and gather shroud lines without tangles. Carefully place each shroud line in order over the 4 inch zip tie. Loop the zip tie and pull through the black cord lock about 12 inches or less. Pull through the white sleeve washer with sleeve facing away from cord lock. Pull through the bracket and bumper. Carefully replace the 4 inch zip tie with a 6 inch reusable one. Loop the 6 inch zip tie around the neck of the bottle and tighten 95%. Evenly space shroud lines around the neck at 4 points. Tighten the zip tie fully. Push zip tie tail against a stratofin. Arrange shroud lines in pairs along bottle, looping over bottom groove. Pinch slide cord lock to tighten and hold everything in place and centered. Loop a single line over the remaining bottle groove for even spacing. Screw stratocoupler onto a soda bottle. Follow the previous 13 steps for single bottle attachment. Screw this entire bottle assembly onto the top of a spliced or FTC rocket. This is an expansion chamber with a nose cone and recovery chute. Stratocone may be allowed to free fall from Apogee when chute deploys. A better method is to tether the Stratocone to the rear of the rocket. Drill a tiny hole one half inch from the bottom edge of the Stratocone. Tie a loop on one end of the tether line. Thread the blue bead on the line and loop the line through the bead end loop. Thread the tether line through the stratocone hole from the inside. The bead inside will hold the stratocone from slipping off the tether. Tie a loop on the other end of the tether line. Trim off excess tether line on both ends. Create a lasso on this end and place around the neck of the bottle. The stratocone will safely descend under chute via the tether line. Fill the bottle with less than 200 milliliters of water and mount the rocket onto the launcher. Tightly fold the chute in small folds and wrap the shroud lines around it. Place the chute on top of the rocket. Optional, add a paratrooper beside the vertically placed chute. Place the stratocone over the chute. 
If using a tether line, make sure it is hanging freely. Level and center bracket or premature deployment may occur before apogee. Pressurize the rocket to the desired PSI and release. The stratocone should fall off at Apogee, deploying the chute. The entire rocket should descend safely under chute. Notice landing speed with chute recovery. Nose diving is not an option. Minimize drift under chute with a chute release device. Prevent loss of rocket and onboard devices to trees with less drift. Set release altitude at 200 feet. Rocket may drop 25 to 75 feet before chute is fully open. Achieve lower altitude chute deployment with the chute release. See video link above for shoot release operation. If stratocone is tethered, loosen lasso and remove tether first. Press release lever on zip tie and extract. Carefully transfer the strato chute to another rocket and tighten zip tie 95%. Follow the last six steps for bracket attachment. Store the stratocone on a capped 1 liter soda bottle to retain its round shape. If deformed, place it on a 1 liter bottle and heat with a hair dryer to restore shape. 